Hey there YouTube, Corn Cobb Piper coming at you Saturday afternoon. Wishing everybody a great weekend. Hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Smoking my Amazon.com pipe. Uh, $25 unfinished pipe. Turned out to be a great little smoker. And inside of here I have packed some uh, LJ Peretti. Blend number 52. This is a uh, Burley Virginia blend. With the addition of some Dubeck, uh, which is a Turkish tobacco. Very, very nice tobacco. Definitely would recommend uh, this one as a try for sure. Freddy makes some pretty uh, tasty tobaccos. I uh, got a uh, got some yabbles I want to do today. Uh, it's going to be three separate packages. Uh, one box, two boxes, and a small package. And we'll do the small package first. Uh, these are some tobaccos that I've uh, bought to uh, either smoke now, some for this Christmas. as well as some to seller. So first off, let's go ahead and open a small package from uh, Four Noggins. Just a couple tobaccos in here that I wanted to try. Got two uh, one ounce bags in here. The first one is uh, John Patton's Stormfront, as well as uh, John Patton's uh, Dark Horse. And I don't know if John Patton blends are exclusive to Four Noggins, but they were the only place that I was able to find uh, these particular blends and if I like them I'll just uh, you know every time I order some some Hobbit Sweet or whatever Hobbit Sweet match I'll just make sure to order some of that up too from Four Noggins so just a couple small packages there the next two packages come courtesy of smokingpipes.com this one was packed with care by Josh. Thank you very much, Josh, for that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this guy open now. All right, got that one. And let's see what we got in here. Some packing paper. Some bulk lens, and we'll go through these here first. I believe there are some tins in here also, there are. So, let's see what we got in here. I don't actually remember what's in this order. First off, we got uh, some Low Country, which is uh, smokingpipes.com's uh, brick and mortar. This is a uh, straight Virginia uh, ribbon. Couldn't find much on reviews on it. It's almost, uh, if you can see there, I guess like a shag cut. Smells quite delicious. Very, very uh, hay-like, grassy. Maybe a little bit of citrus notes in there too. I'm, um, I'm trying to get away from, at least for now, from Virginia Flakes. I find them lately to be more work than they're really worth. And I, you know, I really do love... Sam Gowis, um, full Virginia flake, but I just don't have the patience and the time to sit there and dry it out and to, uh, you know, rub it out or whatever, fold it and try to keep it lit. Uh, so I'm just looking for, for this particular time, a nice, uh, Virginia ribbon, something that packs and smokes easily. Just to bide my time, I guess, a little until I get back in the swing of things uh, with flake tobacco. And I'm sure, well, I know, eventually I'll get back into them. Next up, we have uh, Cornell and Deal Three Friars. 
This is, I think, a Virginia Burley Perique. Corn Outland Deal Poplar uh, Camp. Don't remember what that one is. This is a new one uh, that they had on there. This is a uh, Sutliff Voodoo Queen. Uh, and I don't remember what was in there as well. I think this is in English. I just bought it because it looked pretty cool. And it was new. Smell a lot of Virginia in there. Black Cavendish. Don't think there's any uh, lot of key in there. If there is, it's not very much because I'm not really picking it up and smell. But just want something I wanted to try, so I picked up an ounce of it. Cornell and Deal, uh, Pasha's Dream. It's aromatic. It smells like very, very fruity. And I like to do this, you know, go through, uh, and just check out the bulk tobaccos and try stuff that I haven't haven't tried before, order up an ounce of it. If I don't really like it, you know, I'm not out a whole lot of money and I'll just pass it on, give it away, whatever. Uh, last uh, Cornell and Deal one is Bayou Morning. I hear this stuff is like something crazy, like 40% Perique. Very, very spicy. Definitely looking forward to trying that one. And then this is the uh, Gawith and Hogarth uh, Black Twist uh, Slice. This is supposed to be, I guess, the equivalent of uh, basically a rubbed out or sliced um, uh, Samuel Gawith uh, Black Double X. So that's what it looks like. Sliced. Does not carry any of the Lakeland smell, which I was a little worried about, being that it was a Gawith and Hogarth uh, blend. But I like the uh, I like the black double X a lot, and this smells just like it. Uh, but once again, just uh, I find it hard to keep rope tobaccos lit. Um, and as much as I enjoyed that one, I'm hoping this stuff will be very very similar, and I'll be able to enjoy it. Without having to worry about, you know, fussing and keeping this stuff lit. So I'm going to get this stuff back in the larger bag here. Stick the four nine and stuff in there too. And give me one second, that's my phone guys. Sorry about that YouTube. So I'm back. Went through all my bulk blends there that I got in that Yavo. There's still a couple, couple tins in here now. Um, and these are uh, the Christmas blends that I mentioned that I was trying to get a hold of. And I am glad uh, that they re-released these. Uh, these are all from Cornell and Deal. This is Corn Cob Pipe and a Button Nose. We Three Kings, and last but not least, Golden Days of Yore. So I guess that last uh, box opening there was courtesy or brought to you uh, by Cornell and Deal. Go ahead and put these back in the box. Looking forward to trying those uh, for sure uh, this holiday season. This holiday season is going to be very, very heavy, late, and aromatic. Uh, smoking time for me. Um, you know, I, I am one that does like aromatics. There really is not a tobacco uh, genre or family that I don't like. Uh, tobaccos definitely have a place in my rotation, as well as Virginia's, Burleys, and uh, English's, or Latakia, Balkan. Um, I pretty much like them all. Um, falling out of favor, like I said, with flakes, but that'll change soon enough and I'll get back into them. So let's go ahead now and get this last box. Cut open here. Another uh, smokingpipes.com box. This one was packed with care by, what does that say? I think it says Maria, but spelled kind of weird. Not sure on that. Packed with care by M A R I J A, maybe, Maria. So, anyway, thank you, Maria. Still got a piece of this taped here. There we go. 
And I believe this box is going to be brought to you, uh, sponsored by uh, McClellan, if memory serves me right. And yes, it is. So, move this off to the side. A couple bulk blends here. Uh, Mac Baron Golden Extra, as well as uh, some McClellan 5100 Red Cake. Both great smokes if you haven't tried them. The uh, Golden Extra is a uh, Burley, uh, the 5100 Red Cake, straight Virginia. Uh, it's a cake that's basically made of ready rubbed. So, let's see what we got here. We have 100 gram tin of Frog Morton. Uh, on the bayou. Never had it, never have. 100 gram tin of Frog Morton on the town. Never had it, never have. Well, 100 gram tin of uh, 40th anniversary uh, pipe tobacco. Just to let you go, you guys know, other than those bulks, I've never tried any of these. Uh, so I don't have to burg it up on everyone there. So it's another 100 gram tin, 40th anniversary. Those are Virginias. And in the words of my buddy Scotty P, I did not want to be the last one to uh, buy some Stonehenge Flake. Uh, so here it is. This is a collaboration between uh, GL Peace and I think Gawith and Hogarth, I believe. Um, it's got some mixed reviews from what I've seen. Picked up a couple of tins, uh, one to try now, one to uh, seller. So I'll let you guys know here soon enough what I think of it. 100 gram uh, tin of McClellan uh, Anniversary Pipe Tobacco. This is the 1977 through 2017. It's got the cool waxed uh, seal on the top there. Another one of those 100 gram tin anniversary. Paper. Got some uh, pipe cleaners. Uh, paper pipe cleaners. A couple hundred of those. You can never have too many pipe cleaners. This is some magazine that um, Pipes and Cigars, SmokingPipes.com was giving away with some of the orders. Have a look at that later. And, uh, that's it for that one. So those are, that's my Yabo. Just wanted to share with you some uh, cool new tobaccos that I acquired, sorry, here. And, uh, you know, let you know maybe some stuff that you might look forward to uh, trying in the future. So thanks for watching YouTube, and as always, keep on piping.